What's up, people? This your boy Phenomena. And once again, this is the Phenomena Way. Alright, so I just wanted to talk about detachment. Alright, I want to talk about detachment, letting go. Stop being concerned and stop being worried about, you know, is somebody going to tell you the truth or if they're going to continue to lie to you. Alright, it's like some for me. Uh, one of my worst fears used to be dying not knowing the truth about a lot of things. But then I also realized that God sometimes protects you from the truth so that, you know, you don't lose your mind out here. But, on the other hand, God will always give it to you when you're ready for it. Uh, it's been times where I have asked God for a favor and just said, hey, God, give me clarity. And it's come in a couple of minutes. There's been times where I asked God for clarity and it didn't come until I finally let go of this situation. Like, for instance, my the situation with, I'm not going to say my narc, but the situation with a narc is... Every time something happens, literally, the truth finds itself to me from um, other people coming to tell me the truth and filling in between the lines or just a random person just popping up and, oh, I know that person. Well, this happened and this happened and this happened. And it's always you find out that that person is a layered liar. You know, uh, some of them will even breadcrumb and gaslight the hell out of you. They breadcrumb and gaslight the shit out of you. All right. Like, uh, for instance, I was told one time that, no, it was just this person I was talking to. And that was it. Never, nothing ever happened. We were just cool. And then it was, oh, I kissed them. And then it was, oh, well, we did it one time. And after a whole year, a year of me saying, hell no, I don't believe that shit. You're telling me one time you lied and told me you never touched this person. Then you told me you did. Then you told me you never had sex with this person. Then you did. And then you're telling me that you were able, to, you were willing to risk your family and everything you had over one fuck. Nope. Nope, not believing that. Because, honestly, I mean, it's like this. I could have been in many different situations like that. Where I could have been in, I could have been with many, 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 many other women. But I chose to be faithful and try to stay where I needed to be. This person, on the other hand, couldn't even be honest because they knew if I knew the truth, I wouldn't want to be with them. And even after asking them and literally saying to them, like, hey... If you've cheated or whatever you've done, just tell me so that I can choose if I want to be with you. Don't keep me here under false pretenses. Of course, that person still keeps you here under false pretenses. Because some people can't even fathom telling the truth. The truth coming out their mouth is like hot acid. It 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 kills them in the inside to tell the truth. Like tell the truth like simple stuff that you ain't even gotta lie about like if you cheated cool you cheated now if i don't want to be with you that's that's the consequences of you cheating but also though why lie to keep someone with you that you obviously don't want to be with or you obviously don't love enough because someone who loves you will never intentionally cheat on you or never intentionally hurt you so that's one thing I know a lot of people need to completely understand. Somebody who loves you will never intentionally hurt you, ever. So, with that being said, y'all love each other and love yourself. I'm out.